filmed. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you develop the technique of opening and closing those buttons with one hand, but it takes a while. All right, so the center article has been shown. The delay there was getting the pocket secure, meaning buttoning it up so that you don't lose your scent article in the truck because you may need it again. <laughs> Tell him easy, seek him out. So I would provide a little bit more resistance on his initial way out so you can slow it down a little bit easier when he's... <clears throat> My camera skills are probably sucking right now. So you can see he hits the end of the line. Any questions? Whether he's doing what he's supposed to. <clears throat> the instructions for the laying of the track were to follow this fence line all the way around the field and end up behind us in the opposite corner. So he's settling in now. <clears throat> we just started doing a, a easy kind of a cast so we'll keep practicing that try and get him to tone it down just a little bit but he's on scent now and working it he's starting to figure these corners out pretty quickly okay so this loop whenever they do that they're trying to pick up scent again and you see him looking looking he's trying to figure out if he's tracking me or not and he's like, no, that's not the scent. He sweeps back over. He should be picking it up in just a minute. So if he wants to walk up to me because he's used to tracking me, let him walk up and then just go, that's not him, and then take him back into the track. So he's not used to having another person with him. When you're running tracks, you need to start having people move with the dog team because in a real search and rescue or hostile law enforcement type track, you will have other people with you most likely. So you want the dog familiar with that. There you go. So he's representing the article. Good. And then when you cast him, just move toward the fence line. So managing the lead is one of the most difficult things to do while paying attention to your dog. So practicing managing your lead is probably one of the first things and then give your focus to your dog to tell if they're on or off scent. So right here, when you saw him hit scent there, he swung around and hit scent. <clears throat> I would ask him, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Right there. Is that it? Seek him out. So this is his first time on a scent article, so he's trying to figure out what to do. So Chip needs to decide, are you going to go back and recast?
So these are where he's struggling right now in terms of is this initial cast, this initial getting on scent. Once the dog settles into scent, he's much better. So right here, I wouldn't be focusing on the dog. He can do a presentation one more time, but I would be focusing on looking out. So you see, so he's got scent. He's like, no, 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 get that away from me. He's like, I got it, I got it, okay? And then you cast, but here I'd be looking around like I'm trying to see where the person is to communicate to the dog, but that's what we're doing. We're finding somebody. It's really important that you get your intention, your desire, your focus clear in your mind so that the dog can understand that and know what they're supposed to do. And as soon as he hit that fence line, he hit scent and he's been on since then. So you can see the shift in the dog's mannerism once he truly hits scent. So they often go into the woods right there in that corner. So the question is, will he try and shoot into the woods because it's familiar, or will he follow scent? Now sometimes they'll go into the woods kind of assuming that's what they're doing, and then they'll realize, oh crap, there's no scent here. So they should not be in the woods at all. So he wants to recognize real quickly, hey, there's no scent in here. Let's get back out and cast in that corner. Kind of milling around right there at the entrance. Looks like he's using the bathroom.
So right now he's kind of wondering, is that the guy? <clears throat> this is where I communicate to the dogs, no. You track him in. You don't use your eyes, you use your nose. It looks like something pooped there or whatever. I just tell him gently, leave that alone, track him out, seek him. Now, the instructions here were go along the fence line, so he may have tried to push through some of that. But there it goes. It looks like he went along the edge. Good seek. Good job, Joshua. Good seek, Loki. You're better than Good me at job. this. 